Y to the E stands for E is Bryce Bryce back in a good video and today my solid screwdriver and today is my birthday I'm 16 great anyways yesterday this was meant to be coming but then it changed to today so it's finally here the 13th doctor's sonic screwdriver here it is in its box and before I say anything it's nothing like um, what you guys would imagine what it would be like um, it's got the BFC Dot True logo on the top, the new Dot True logo. It's got electronic lights and sound, and also new diagnostic sound. And also, look at the port to open sign. The door, the uh, the handle's usually on that side, but now it's on that side. Looks more like David Tennant's TARDIS, to be honest. And on the back, you've got all the legal garb and all that stuff, and I'll change about it, which I'll cover through in the video. And also, you've got the Catch Options logo down there, and no uh, scan me. Which is quite f weird. And see inside sleeve for further instructions. Okay, so let's crack this open. And also, a shout out goes to Sir Squirrel again. Um, link his channel in the description below. He has started to do YouTube videos on his channel. Which. Oh, it's got a nice smell to it as well. I like the smell of that. Ow. So, okay, to operate on, when you pick up, hold the Sonic will light up within. When you place down, you remove your hand, in, internal light will fade out. Note the Sonic screwdriver go into sleep mode. If failed, about two minutes will wake, release, and hold again, and will light up again. You've got the emitter button A, button B. Normal operation, press but hold button A to hear the sonic sound. Press twice quickly for button A to hear a diagnostic sound. And note B is a dummy does not function. Okay. So, um, button B does not actually do anything. I'm going to set that in there. I'm going to save the packaging. Because that's what I like to do. Go. So that's the packaging. Now the Sonic itself. Now you will get a pull tab, so make sure you do pull it out. I'll take my rings off because I don't think it'll work. There we go. So when you pick it up, it's supposed to emit a yellow colour, which I don't think it does. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now the reason why I had to pause it because when I when you're supposed to um, hold it, it's supposed to illuminate from the inside, and for some reason mine isn't doing it. No matter which way I hold it, if I do it like that, still no, or like that, hold it by the pic like the picture shows, still no light, and I don't know what's going on. I think there's a loose connection in it. I don't know, but mine isn't appear to lighten up inside within holding it because it's got touch sen sensors on it um, but no matter what I do give it a little check still no still no light but the rest of it does work now the crystal is a bit loose on the top which is a quite dodgy um, but anyways looking at the detail on the crystal you've got this um, little mesh like paint dabs on it 
There we go. Little mesh dab details on it, just like that. And then you can see like these screw holes, and on the prop itself, it does appear to have screw holes itself. I can't, I don't definitely know if it does, but the 720 version does have like the wood grain effect on it, and like all the crystal or clear plastic bits are covered in like white textured stuff. So. From the angle from the set, it looks like it was held on by like that. And that's your battery compartment, which I'll get to in a minute. And uh, for holding it wise, it does it does sit comfortably in your hand. Um, I would use this hand mostly because this is the use the hand that I usually use for Sonics. And when sat down, you can display it like that, so it will not roll off. You can display it like that as well. No, you cannot. You can display it. You can display it like that, flat. So you don't really need a handle or a little something to put it on. And then, and for a, as for um, the two buttons here, you got button. A and button B. Button A does something, button B is just a dummy. Let's see, I'm pressing it. Nothing's happening. Button A activates the lights and sound. If I get them to it, battery compartment there, if I didn't say that, and you do get the little stuff there which is starting to bring back in screwdrivers, but it's not properly noticeable. But to activate it, you've got to hold it using your finger. Which lights out, which lights through the Sonic very well. It's got a little. Now pressing it twice. Which gives out that little tink at the end as well. And also the um, 720 version does have a rotating emitter and like the capture. Because literally, rotating emitter does not happen on here. Um, I'm pressing it four times, three times, sorry. Which gives out that old sonic effect. Looking on the effects. Now, for changing the batteries, you will need a star head screwdriver, wherever it's gone. That's the screwdriver I usually use to change the batteries. Make sure you do take the screw out, or try to. It's got like a plastic thing, and it is hard to remove the cover, so you've got to be very careful, because it's one of them awkward ones. And then, you've got your three batteries, which are easy to remove. Just by uh, doing that, and you can just put them back in. They do go in different order. You can see the LED right there. And you've got to very carefully put this back on. It's very awkward to put the battery cover back on. So what you want to do... Oh, screwdriver. So I'm going to remove the screw a bit more and push it in like that. And then push that up a bit. And then tighten it. And it should be illuminating when it's held, and I don't know what's going on with the sensor in it. I don't think it's quite picked it up, but if you rot if you if you like rotate in the light a bit you can see a bit of the circuitry inside. Which is quite fun. If I just show you there, you can see a bit of the board. 
So yeah, now here's the previous predecessor, the 12 Doctors second screwdriver. And you can see the size is pretty small, so it's gone back to the small size. Um, speaking of Sonic, this sound has literally gone out of this now. So it's only a dead Sonic, it's only lighting up now. And if we do a size comparison between the tenant screwdriver, um, again, this is still big, but when this is extended, even this is smaller than this. So, at least it's gone back to the small, the small scale screwdriver. Um, now, the price on this has increased on Amazon. I've got this pre-ordered for uh, for fourteen ninety nine, and now it's gone up to at least nineteen or twenty quid on Amazon now. Um, so yeah. But luckily, if you were a Prime member, it will stay as 15 quid. That's what we'll do. So thank you for watching. Please hope you enjoy it. Uh, please like and subscribe. And also come around and subscribe and like. And also do check out this on Amazon. I would recommend buying this. It isn't that heavy. It's got the um, same heft about the... If you've got an iPhone Tev Dr. Sonic, it's about the same heaviness as that. But it is a great Sonic to buy if I didn't drop it. I still like to use the top, you know, I'll use it like that. But you have to use it like that, and it's very awkward. Can't get used to it. So, yeah, that's the new screwdriver. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, like I said. And also, a shout out goes to uh, Sarah Squirrel. His channel link will be linked in the description below. Don't forget to check it out. And also, Stay tuned for more great content. I'm going to upload this video and I'm going to not do any more YouTube videos until tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Alonzi.